I'd love to introduce Nina Gulati, who came all the way from India. Of course, she didn't come all the way from India today, but she's been here for a while, and she teaches dance from India. Hello there, Nina. How are you? Namaste. Namaste. Oh, I love this. What does this mean? Namaste is a greeting of hello and goodbye. It's a common greeting used to when you meet someone and when you leave. I love it. So, Namaste. Very right. nice. It shows a lot of respect. Exactly. It does. I have watched you over the past year showing, teaching, dance, and your students love you. They are so into the movement. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about Indian classical dance, how, what, what it's all derived from? Actually, Indian dance is a very beautiful art form. It started thousands of years ago in the Hindu temple as a way of communicating with God. Just as you chant hymns and sing prayers, we also chant and sing. But dance is considered to be the purest expression of the human spirit. So in dance, you know, when we bring our hands up, we are greeting God. Oh. We greet our teachers and everybody else. And this dance has been like the Western Ballet. Required a lot of dedication, hours of practice, training. But I think what is really beautiful about it is the mime. We tell stories oh. about different gods and goddesses. We use our hand gestures. We have Lord Shiva. Then you have Krishna playing the flute. We have Lord Rama with the bow and arrow. We have Ganesha, the elephant-headed god. And then we have goddesses, Durga riding on a lion. And we have Saraswati playing the veena. And so on. We have a lot of symbolic gestures that are used in dance. Nina's students demonstrate a classical Indian dance. Thank you. 